Next up, let's take an in-depth look at our paintbrush. So, so far we can use our paintbrush, use it, draw a line like this. But what if we want it to make paint splatters or different textures or something really spread out like a little particle effect? We can do all of that with our paintbrush too. So the same way you go to change the size or the hardness, you can also choose what type of brush you're using, such as general brushes or dry media brushes. So let's say I choose a dry media brush and I choose chunky charcoal here. When you're choosing a brush, be careful not to choose one with a different tool icon on it, otherwise it'll change the tool you're using over. So I'm going to choose chunky charcoal, and you can see it looks like this when I draw on my screen. But I can customize this even more to make it work a little bit differently, maybe spread it out some more. So we can change the size, hardness, and what kind of brush we're using on the top left, but to change our style more in depth for our brush, you want to click on the brush icon on the right side of your screen next to your color picker. So it's going to say brush settings when you hover over it. When you click on it, it's going to open up a new window with a couple of different things going on, like dynamics you can choose and other things you can customize. So the one we want to look at here is this spacing slider. If you click and drag on this slider, it'll space your brush strokes out more. So you can see how this brush looks way different depending on how much the spacing is set to. Let's use this to try to get it to spread out some more so we can make it look like a glittery effect on top of our image. We can also mess with dynamics too. So what dynamics do is they can change how much your brush changes depending on how you move your mouse or how much you kind of wave it around. This can make your brush look a little bit less flat, kind of make it look a little bit more like someone is using it on paper and there's all those little tiny changes all the time. You can experiment turning these different ones on and off and messing with their sliders to see what they do.